This video is going to be a very short tutorial on how to check the temperature for the individual cores on your CPU. If you have a multiple core CPU, which you almost certainly would have in this day and age, then you can monitor the temperature of each of its cores independently. Checking the temperature of each core can give you an insight into how many cores a certain application or game utilizes. Since the temperature of a core is directly related to how much the core in question is being utilized, the higher the load on a core, the higher would be its temperature. So without further ado, let us begin this tutorial. While there are many third-party applications out there, the one I would recommend for checking the overall as well as the individual core temperature of your CPU is through a utility called Core Temp. I have included its link in the description below. So in order to install this application, head over to the Core Temp's official website and press the download button. Doing this will download the setup file for this utility. Once downloaded, go ahead and install it. Installing this utility is also quite straightforward. Once installed, run the utility and as soon as it starts, it'll start recording the temperatures and conveniently display the numbers in easy to understand columns. So let me explain the details here a bit. The CPU in my system here is the Intel Core i7-11800H. This is an 8 core CPU as can be seen in the core count field at the top. At the bottom half of the utility, you can see the temperature of the individual cores. Take note that the numbering for cores starts from 0 as opposed to 1. So core number 1 corresponds to the first core on the CPU and core number 7 corresponds to the 8th core. Now the temperature is divided into 3 columns. The first column here shows you the current temperature of the core. The min column shows the minimum recorded temperature for the corresponding core and the max column shows the maximum temperature recorded. The two important columns are the current and the max temperature columns as they can indicate whether any of your core is overheating or not. The load column as the name suggests tells you the current utilization of a core. This can give you further insight into how many cores are being utilized by a certain application. The number you see here in the current column right now as of this moment are the idle state temperature or the temperature when the CPU is being minimally utilized. You need to make sure that the idle state temperature is no more than 50 degrees Celsius so that it has enough leeway to increase this temperature once you start something heavy. The thermal junction temperature or TJ max is the maximum temperature the CPU can reach before it starts throttling meaning lowering its performance or starts to shut your PC down to save itself from overheating. The TJ Maxx is 100 degrees Celsius and your CPU cores should not come close to it. Now let me show you what happens when I start something intensive like a game. Here you can see that I have Cyberpunk 2077 running in the background. And as expected, the current core temperature have drastically increased and so have the maximum temperatures recorded by this utility. So that concludes my short tutorial on how to check CPU core temperature. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. If this tutorial helped you in any manner, then I would appreciate if you would hit the like and the subscribe button.